How can such people in these remote areas without power get financial services? Even while institutions like Finance Trust, which has established a branch in agricultural rich Kapchora, are trying their best, they only stop in these major towns where there is power and other infrastructure. So what could bridge the gap? It would be very important for the, uh, the country of Uganda to embrace agency banking through the central bank, whereby we are able to set up agencies in the villages that feed to our main branch. So that uh, the customers, like an, an agricultural person, they don't have to leave their garden to come to the bank. They can take the services closer to them through mobile banking. Agent banking follows the model similar to mobile money agents and they can actually use that platform to do some of their work. However, because they deal with money, they need to be regulated. There are very many issues that come into play. Manipulation by the agents, level of integrity of the agents. So we really need a, a, a regulation to manage the agents, and that is uh, those that are under the agency banking. The private sector is serious about solutions that work to problems government laments about. The private sector is serious about solutions that work to problems government laments about, like financial deepening in this case. For agency banking, shouldn't government hasten in this regard?